And now a B button sponsored by the Jimmy Dean brand, the youngest ever speller in the Scripps National Spelling Bee with six-year-old Edith Fuller in 2017. We are here in Washington, D.C. with the finalists of the 2023 Scripps National Spelling Bee. And joining me now is 2015 co-champion Vanya Shivashankar. Vanya, what are your observations so far from those incredible spellers on the stage? I mean, like you said, Paul, this is an incredible group of spellers. I'm especially impressed by the root word knowledge that we've seen and how these kids are using that to their advantage to get the right spelling. So I'm excited to see the rest of the competition and see how they keep doing yeah, we saw you do that once upon a time. You know, there's somebody else in D.C. who just can't get enough of the spelling bee. She may not be eligible to enter the competition, but she does have a special message for our spellers. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2023 Scripps National Spelling Bee. Some of you may have heard I'm a former school spelling bee competitor myself. And while I've never had to recall letters in front of TV cameras, I still remember what I felt just before the competition in sixth grade. Words rushing through my head and my heart almost beating out of my chest. So enjoy this moment. The hard work you put into getting here and the incredible memories you're creating with your new friends will last you a lifetime. The president and I are so proud of you. So let me see if I can dust off some of my old spelling credentials. G-O-O-D-L-U-C-K. Well, that message came through loud and clear. Thank you, Dr. Biden. And let's get back into it. So far, we've seen eight spellers, three more still to spell in this first round of the finals. Let's go back to the stage. Next up, we have Tarini Nandukumar from Round Rock, Texas. Hi, Dr. Bailey. Hi, Tarini. Core Brooder. Could you repeat the word, please? Core brooder. Core brooder. May I have the language of origin, please? It's from a French derived German element plus a German element. May I have the definition, please? A core brooder is a close comrade. That French is going to help her at the beginning of the word. Core brooder. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Just core brooder. Core brooder. C O R P. And the part of speech. Noun. Core brooder. It's a close comrade. May I start again? Yes, of course. Just can't change any letters. Thank you. 